Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards Campaign Mode. Here with the Campaign of the Week, we are playing as Eldari against the Orcs, but specifically we are playing as Dark Eldar. And we get one brand new card from this campaign, it is the Drukari Clawed Fiend, an interesting looking creature with Berserk for its trait. There is the back of the card with the description. And each Drukari card in your deck adds more to your score for that, so we are going with a full keyword deck, which I have done several times in the past. There have been a few Drukari campaigns. So I'm running something pretty similar with Rakarth and a mix of ranged and melee units, but these are the highest level that my uh, Drukari have ever been, so they've been doing pretty good. A decent job of dealing with the orcs. Now there is one other Drukari warlord, uh, Lelith, who is a very powerful warlord, but if you're just going with pure Drukari, I think Rakarth is still the better option. So that is what we're going to go with in this campaign. So let's go ahead and deploy and see which of the orc war bosses we will be playing against. And this is, I believe, a level 30 AI. Been facing a fair bit of... Uh, Boss Nickrot this campaign, but we are up against Captain Badruck this time. And we do have the initiative, so we get to take the first turn. I'll throw down some of these cheap fodder units. I do have a, a few pretty strong units in here, like the Pain Engine and the Grotesque, which can really... You can get a lot of mileage out of those guys if they get the uh, health buffs. Uh, the Grotesque we probably want on the field a little bit earlier. But I do have... Well, you know what? I think we'll actually go with that. Sure, we'll put the Grotesque down here. Okay, got the Mega Knob with the shield. It has two shields there. So we'll start off with the ranged attack. Not the most exciting opening round there. And we've got the Kabbalite Warrior in the center. It's one of the newer cards for the Drukari. It has poison for its trait, but it's at a pretty low level, so only is dealing 4 damage at the end of each turn. And it is not going to be lasting very long here, but that's okay, because anytime anything dies, it just increases the health of all of my units. All right, we worked our way through the shields of the Mega Knob, and the Grotesque is getting some boost to its uh, attack stats each time it takes damage. And that's why I put it across from the Mega Knob, because it has a weak ranged attack, so you can get more of those stacks. And the Tank Busta gets an extra attack in there after it destroys the Warrior. And the Poison finishes off that Tank Busta. Okay. It is their turn, and I think I'm going to just go ahead and put down the Pain Engine. Thing has a pretty good amount of health. The Grotesque also has a lot of health for its cost. Uh, a lot of Eldari cards actually have very little health, but the Grotesque is one of those exceptions if you get it um, decently upgraded. Now they have a Squigoth on the field. This is a really big guy there. And that thing, depending on the level, can get extremely powerful. It has a lot of health, so we probably do not want to be poisoning it. Poisoning it. Uh, it is a Berserker. Gets plus 6 to its stats, so not the biggest one I've seen. Now, do we want to put down the Razor Wing? Let's see, the Grotesque currently able to deal quite a bit of damage there. I think we'll go with... Yeah, we'll go with the Razor Wing. And just continue with the ranged attack. Hopefully they don't deploy anything too big. Okay, got a knob and the commando. And the commando is targeting the grotesque, so that is going to be taking a fair bit of damage. I'm afraid it's probably not going to survive very long. Even though it, it will gain a lot of attack stats this turn after getting hit by three attacks, but it's probably not going to survive the next melee attack, especially with the target acquired, increasing the damage to it, so. Unfortunate. This thing was really getting very strong. The Pain Engine 
I have on the right side is able to poison enemies, which deals 12 damage at the end of each turn. It's at a pretty high level. I just upgraded it to uh, level, what is it, level 8? So the poison taken down that knob there. And we've got the Parasite Engine as well, which I think we'll put over here for some extra healing. 44 healing to that pain engine. So you can see my units are just getting more and more health as the game goes on. I still have two bodyguards remaining and they are going to have quite a bit more health as well. So the orcs, I mean, they, they really struggle to destroy uh, these units in the end game. And if you have your stronger units deployed uh, later on in the game, then they can really do a lot of damage. All right, Squigoth. Actually, they, they do have some pretty strong units on the field, the Scrapjet there. But we do have a massive melee attack charged up. Do we want to use it yet? Probably not with the Razor Wing on the field, though we could take out the Scrapjet there. Might actually be worth it. You know, I think we will do that, actually. We'll just use up the, the melee attack, take down the Scrapjet, and force the enemy Warlord, Captain Badruck, onto the field. And let's see, Squigoth. Yeah, Squigoth actually hasn't gained a whole lot of attack power. And they are going for the melee attack. Unable to destroy anything. And I think we can just go ranged here. Yep. And the pain engine will be able to finish off the Squigoth. Took a fair bit of time to do that, but... We go with the ranged. So yeah, Rakarth is safe and sound, doing his job as the armchair general. He is not going to have to deploy here. And they're going for the ranged attack. Able to take down two of my units there. And get some extra attacks in as well. But the pain engine survives and poisons Badruck. And now I can deploy my last two bodyguards. Which are actually really weak. We got the the Razor Wing flock of birds with Taunt. Look at how much health those things have now. They start off with like 40 health or something. And then we got Drazhar, who deploys here. He's got 249 health. Big game hunter. And I just upgraded this guy recently as well. 67 damage. He could. Uh, he's pretty good against the uh, big expensive units as well, able to deal additional damage. So. They actually took down a lot of my bodyguards there. But, you know, Rakarth, he used to be quite weak. Uh, he One of the weakest warlords in terms of his damage output, but they... I believe they buffed him several times, actually, so he's actually capable of dealing a decent amount of melee damage. Here's 33. If I can upgrade him to level 6, he can deal 43 damage, so... He's actually pretty strong. So, that is the Dark Eldar... For you, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, I still would hesitate to use them in ranked mode. I think there are definitely much better options in the Eldari roster as a whole uh, to combo with Rakarth. But for the purposes of this campaign, this one has worked quite well. Let me know how it's going for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.